Thanks, Frank. Yeah. Great notepad, too. <laughs> if you ever got to go away for a month, <laughs> take one of their notepads. They'll be in my heart forever. Uh, let's see. Fake styre. Today is Monday, October 14th. On this day in 1947, U.S. Air Force Captain Chuck Yeager became the first pilot to break the sound barrier. That was 1947. In 2012. So, 1947. Air Force Captain Chuck Yeager. 2012. 65 years later. 89-year-old Air Force Brigadier General Chuck Yeager <laughs> went through the sound barrier again, this time as a passenger. Still, though, dude. They kind of strapped him in the back of an F-15. How old? 89. 89. And he's 89. Man, I'm, my equilibrium is a nightmare right now. His head exploded <laughs> <laughs> within the helmet. Like, I, I, I won't even get on a roller coaster anymore. It's pointless. Yeah, I mean, I've never been the biggest roller coaster guy, but I'm with you. I have trouble sometimes just standing up. Uh huh. I'm like, whoa! You, you lean over to pick up the dog poop. What's going you on here? You sit, stand up, and yeah, you, you feel dizzy. like you just did a whip it. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy, man. Chuck Yeager at 89. I'm. <laughs> what if his skin just like stayed like? <laughs> like it just got all like he was next to a turbine awesome. and then, <laughs> they sprayed like clear cement on his face yeah. and just stays that way <laughs> died at the age of 97 maybe you live longer if you go to space well I don't know if he went to space the but people on the challenger the might disagree with you yeah there's going to be a couple mishaps uh, this day in 1987, yes, Jessica. Yes, I, I realize I just conflated the sound barrier with being in orbit. That's and right. I, and I What's helped. the difference? Yeah. But uh, this again. day in 1987, Jessica McClure. Well. Fell down a well. She was 18 months old. And then they ended up rescuing her, and I think. How many days was it? Was it three? 58-hour rescue. So, yeah. <sighs> Damn, Holy. dude. That's a long time. And she's uh and I think rich beyond her I think she got a bunch of money somehow from it and I believe got into some bad investments and bits and had a bad marriage and I I don't yeah. know. It's a it's a it's a sad tale if you look into Jessica. It really McClure. is. I change and add to the story every year, but there is a kernel of truth in it. She did get married young and I believe her. Right, right when she got out. Yeah, that's right. He was proposing her, to her, her agent. He was proposing <laughs> to her uh, in the like hello, when they were hello, lifting her up hello. in the basket. Yeah. Uh, she married a guy who yeah she get divorced from. She had a lot of money, and I think he this part I think is true. Uh, had like a, a, a failed car wash business. I feel like car wash is a thing, and I think I put baseball cards in there every year because it just seems like the sort of thing yeah like he'd want to invest in that right when yeah they went out of style baby babies or something now do you bought think lots she, of doge <laughs> when sorry, it was 50 Blake. cents do you think she has any of the pow mentality even though it happened when she was only a year and a half old i'd were like to like, find out <laughs> were you like you know you could be back in that well that's right she always she hear she it's calling her all the time. She has to force herself not to dive down into that well. <laughs> On this day in 1990, Joe Montana and Jerry Rice had record-setting performances in the 49ers win over the Falcons. Montana career high of 476 yards passing and six touchdowns. Five of those went to Jerry Rice, which makes me just think, what <laughs> if? Imagine if those two played in a sling it around passing offense. The numbers they could have put up. Yeah, no, I mean, you don't get those type of numbers from those guys that day without the 11 carries for 31 yards by Tom Rathman <laughs> that he posted that <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> On this day in 2011, the sudden departure occurs. An inexplicable simultaneous disappearance of 140 million people from the earth. 2% of the world's population suddenly disappeared. Mm, that one lady was... Three years later, the TV series The Leftovers would start. 
Love this was the day, October 14th. That's awesome. Hmm. Need to rewatch that. that. Oh, great show. So good. I was so, so unsure about it after the first couple episodes, and I just grinded. And I might I go got, back. It's so good. Let's go back. It's probably worth it. Three three seasons or two? It's really short. I think three, but yeah, yeah. They knew what, they knew what was up too. Like this is the arc we want to tell. And I yeah, I feel like him every morning when I don't smoke cigarettes, but and I don't have a huge dick like him. <laughs> but I when I go run in the neighborhood, uh, I'll leave my water bottle and my vape out. Like in the driveway. How many steps you got today? Today's an off day because I had to write this morning. Yesterday? Now this is the day I want to ask you. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> How many steps you got? Today, it's not going to be good. Because I had a short walk today. I have 3,100. At 2 o'clock today, I am at... I had 14,000. 7,700. That's good. I didn't do anything in the morning. I'm at like... This two, is off day and he's doubled me. I'm at 2,000. I got 17 grand yesterday, bro. But I just love how he used to... Is this worse than fantasy talk? Yes. I don't participate in it past the first time. I love Steps talk. I do love that the main character would go run, and literally when he got to his halfway point, he would just start smoking cigarettes <laughs> before he ran back. Dude, I, I, I was went like, on a run <laughs> last night, and I swear to God, there's a track by my house, and I made a lap, and there was a guy that was wearing fitness shoes <laughs> and fitness pants, and he was Hispanic. And he was, like, clearly not traveling from one place to the other and just used a portion of this track. He was getting his workout in with a freaking Marlboro lit. That's because he had to leave the house. His wife wouldn't let him smoke. Yeah, she so thinks he's quit. Is that what it is? Yeah. And then he's got to dress up and do the whole bit and kind of go through with some of it. Oh, I like that. I never thought about that. Okay. Well, he's going to go back home and reek. He's gonna I don't know how people have pulled that off, but I had friends who would do that. Like, my parents don't know I smoke. I'm like, dude, I smell you driving by my house. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this one's for Rob, video man. You know Rob was a uh, X Games guy. Mm -hmm. Has done, like, thousands of parachute jumps. On this day in 2012, extreme athlete Felix Baumgartner. Oh, no. Did a 24-mile high jump from a balloon. Officials said this made him the first skydiver to fall faster than the speed of sound. Is this Red Bull? And okay. I thought he I thought he died, but I was wrong. Just a little video of it? Yeah, he like live streamed. He started this. out almost like in space. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. He was like he actually stood on the moon and then jumped off it. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty four miles up. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Yeah, that's wild. Jeez. <laughs> and like Mission Control started celebrating when he landed safely. Yeah, not he didn't splat. But then, yeah, what would their reaction be? Like, yeah. Mm. Mm. You oh, guys okay, well. Burritos? <laughs> I guess he's dead. <laughs> it didn't work. Get the cleanup crew. <laughs> and on this day in 2015, mentioned this at the beginning of the program, uh, Jose Bautista bat flip game. Joey, that's game five of the ALDS. The Rangers lose to the Blue Jays. Their unruly foreign fans are pouring beers on babies. And <laughs> that would lead to uh, Ruggie Odor eventually punching Jose Bautista. And then eventually, Ruggie Odor would uh, be in prison in with my neighbor's <laughs> sister. You know, I come from the bad radio school of kind of uh, <laughs> overestimating your own importance in the world. So I still remain steadfast that Bob and Dan caused that punch to happen. Blake might have been there. If it wasn't you, it was killer. You were there. I was definitely there. We were interviewing Bautista. Or yeah. No, uh, Ruggie. Ruggie. And he... It was like days before. He yeah, hated he, Bob so much that he took it out on Bautista. Yeah, yeah, it was either that or it was the series was about to start with them, or they were coming in that weekend and they asked him about it and he was like, "I, uh, I'm not going to talk about that." And like he literally got like a far away look, like yeah, I'm about to fuck this dude up one way or another. Glossy. And then they waited until like the middle of the game on Sunday, <laughs> like we're gonna get these other two out of the way, and then the first chance I get. You're getting the two-piece. It was great. It was great. And then, as a Venezuelan was fighting, uh, I don't know what Bautista is, uh, but he played for Toronto. So, as a Venezuelan guy is, like, fighting a, 
you know, let's say like an El Salvadoran guy, the crowd, USA, USA. <laughs> it it's like, no what? Sense. It was Texas confusing. versus Toronto, dude. You weren't there. That's true. That's true. I was. It was the greatest baseball game I've ever been to. And then his career just went into the tank. Yep. He was never the same after that, man. Nope. Had horses, though. <coughs> Um, Jimmy Jackson, 54. We got him. Wesley Matthews, 38. We had him. <laughs> I liked him. We had him. Yeah, it was a lot of fights. Kind of a him. spare overall looking at his career today. A guy who averaged 10 points on you. He had a couple good years at the right time, but. Heavily he overpaid by one team. Yeah. He was cool looking. He did the bow and arrow. He's still in the league. Shut up. No. Where? It was as of last year. Is it like the Lakers or He something? has made $115 million. Wesley Matthews. I remember when DeAndre Jordan bailed. I think Cuban said, you can go if you want. He did. He said, no, I'll stay. And you don't like him for that? I, I have no I, – he was a fun player. He just made a lot of money and it wasn't that great. Brandon Whedon, 41. Man. Lance Rensel, 81. No pants, Lance. Is he the guy who exposed himself or something? Yo, so my name was Lance. <laughs> and how I got that nickname was... Ron Wolfley, 62. The Wolfman, the unbookable Wolfman. The Arizona Cardinals, right? Yeah. Jared Goff, 30. Wow. Damn, dude. That's it? Dude, he was like 21 his first year. Wow. That is insane. Is Dak older than Goff? Yeah. Yeah. Or at least very close, yeah. Screaming A. Smith, 57. Happy birthday. Jim Rome, 60. Wow. Isn't that interesting? You're kidding. They're wow. only three years apart? That surprises me. Yeah, I would have thought Jim Rome was way older. Yeah, for sure. Because he's been around a long time. Uh, Lori Petty, 61. <laughs> Great. From Point Break. That's her now. <laughs> Natalie Maines is 50. Wrong What's that? wrong with that? Nothing. Is she That's Roseanne? Real. No, uh, <laughs> kind of. I don't. Holly Rowe, though. Someone added Holly Rowe to the Roseannes this weekend. I think that's a yeah, that's, that's spot on. Spot on. Yeah, Lori Petty. Mm. Who's the next one? Natalie Maines, Dixie Chicks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, the, chicks. the Chicks. I met her on an airplane. Oh, I know. Or walked I right by her when oh. she was uh, in first class. I can tell that story again if you like. <laughs> oh, I, I just I was waiting for the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. I just said, I was like, oh, hey, it's Natalie To Mains. be fair to him, he didn't he really also said sell it matters. like it was. <laughs> I don't think that's meaning someone. No, I did. I, we, we said hi. You like, look at him. Dude, Dude, they're both country artists. Yeah, come on, man. They know. It's like Gator. <laughs> As he walks back to coach middle seat, and <laughs> mm -hmm. she's up in first class. She had uh, a hot boyfriend, too. Nice. Yeah. And Usher is 46. <laughs> man, he's had... A stupid number of hits. I don't really like R and B. How old that, is he? Forty six. R and B, but he's, he's he's. Are you more R? He's gotten the ladies moving for or the B. better part of twenty five years now. Can you have R without B? Sure. I don't think you can have any music without R. You probably need the R, unless you're Tool. Then you have lots of R. No, you just have everything being divided by three. <laughs> <laughs> Or prime numbers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tool, the band that sounds like a math problem. <laughs> Tool or er, Rush. <laughs> Jesus, man, is there homework after this? <laughs> you said there'd be no tests. I'm tired. Born on this day, now dead, Dwight Eisenhower. He's a general. What's his bit? The military industrial complex. What a loser. That'll never take off. Born in Denison. Mm-hmm. They'd love to tell you about it, too. For real? What else are they gonna do? Come on, you got a president. You're probably gonna have to stay stoked on that. You're Denison. They got a team. Uh, Yellow Jackets. I'll have to believe you. Born on this day, now dead, Lawrence Herkimer. He invented cheerleader pom poms. <laughs> you, sh you guys should be holding something. I guess. What they have before? Just like the megaphone. I wonder. Well, he was born in 1925, so swords. we got to figure he's... 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nunchucks. <laughs> <laughs> They're all hurting themselves. Like, well, like, yeah, I don't know. It feels like there's a softer way for us to go about this. <laughs> Anvils. That didn't yeah. work. <laughs> and uh, burn on the stain now dead. Dennis Hoff. Oh, oh wow. Oh. I think I was at dinner with... Well, we never ordered dinner. Right. I believe he won uh election <laughs> in Nevada in the county he lived in when he was dead. <laughs> what a... Freaking mess. Yeah, I think our whole voting process works probably great. Yeah. <laughs> Just a dinner with you guys and two looted out 18-year-olds. Didn't Lamar Odom almost die at his house? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We should, should we, get book? Big, we should get Big Dick on. Let's book Big Dick. <laughs> That'd be funny. We've had Turley. <laughs> I mean, the next logical step is. And then died on the stay still dead. Um... I'll give you one that I think you might know. Captain Lou Albano. <laughs> he was in this the wrestling wrestler. world, and he was in uh, Cindy Lauper's first music video. He that's, was like a wrestling yeah, manager. He had the rubber bands. I in know his what beard. he looks like, but that is, that's way before my time. Yeah, man. this is the eighties. All right. Yeah. And that was today in history. No, that was great. That's what that was, Dan.